now. Hello. I see we have hey. a guest. We have a guest in the classroom. <laughs> Is he going to join us for the English class? Mm, I think he will um, sleep on my leg. He will fall asleep on your lap. On your lap. On my lap. There we go. How's it going, Daisy? How are you? Mm, I'm great. How about you? I'm I'm okay. The reason I'm not great is because it's getting colder and colder and colder. We are getting hotter, hotter, and hotter. That's what I want. I want to also feel that. Tell me, how are you in Korea? How is the the competition going? What's the latest? Uh, uh, because it is the biggest competition in Seoul. So, um, I didn't enter a final. That's okay. Um, you said it's the biggest competition in Seoul. Wow, that's yes. impressive. Do you know how many people all together? Um, from grade 1 to grade 6, in the, on the last uh, uh, last, uh, net last competition that I joined, it was uh, 70 people uh, through grade 1 to grade 6, but this time uh, they choose uh, 21 people. Yeah, that's a lot of people, Daisy. So, <clears throat> next time. Try again next time. But it was a good experience, right? That's how, yes. Daisy, that's how I like to live life. I like to learn from every experience and enjoy most of the experiences. So even you didn't get, you didn't go to the next round, you still experienced that. Yeah. All right, good. Daisy, this weekend, anything special happening, Saturday and Sunday? Mm, because it is Children's Day coming. Mm. Um, I will go to camping. Children's <laughs> Day is on the 5th. So that is yeah. next week. On the 5th of the 5th. Yeah, that's right. You will go camping. Nice. Daisy, I heard it is the Olympics coming soon. Yes, on Friday. <laughs> is, are you excited about it? Yes. I think it will be a fun day. You can enjoy it. Are you go is your team going to win? I wish so. I hope so. I hope so. There we go. All right. Daisy, anything fun? Anything else you want to share with me? Any questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Let's have a look what we're doing today. Today, we're going to start with a penguin. I'm going to show you a penguin from Japan. This penguin, her name is Lala. Lala the penguin. <laughs> so Lala the penguin was rescued because she was stuck in a net and a family rescued her. So let's have a look at Lala the penguin. How does they know the name? They gave the name to, to the penguin. This is the family that rescued her, and now the penguin lives with them in this room. This, Hello. this room like has... Say again? Uh, Harry Potter lived uh, under the <laughs> stairs. Under the stairs, that's right. But Daisy, I think Harry Potter didn't have an air conditioner. This penguin has an air conditioner in the room. <laughs> it needs to be very cool. It needs to stay cool, yeah. And just like you, you put on a backpack every day to go to school. This penguin. School? You, you put on a backpack to go to ah, school. Yeah. I thought Lala needs to go. To no, Lala is not going to school. Where do you think Lala is going every day with this backpack? Oh, that fish store. Yeah. How did you know that? Really? <laughs> yeah. It's going to the fish market. <laughs> how, how 
know that she knows the You will see now. Now you will see how she purchases the fish. So going to the fish. Smell. Say again. Does she smell it? Well, it's the same market that she goes to every day. <laughs> it is free? It is free for the penguin, yes. Only for the penguin. For other customer, it's not free. I want to. Off, oh, I want to get Lala. She is so cute. She is so cute, and quite smart actually. Daisy, can you tell me? I a, tell me. Rescue, rescue the penguin. <laughs> then I can help. <laughs> But then you then you should train the penguin to go to the market. This penguin was tra I'm sure Lala was trained. Maybe every day Lala go with the owners to the market and one day the owner stopped going but Lala continue. <laughs> All right, Daisy, let's quickly review. Tell me about Lala, where is she from and what does she do? Oh, Lala was rescued from Japan and she was stuck in net. Okay, if you say rescued from Japan, that means there was something bad in Japan and you took the penguin away from Japan, go to another country. Rescued uh, from Japan. Uh, res Lala was rescued. Ah, Ra Lala was rescued. She's from Japan and... Ah, she's from Japan and she was stuck in the net. She was stuck in the net, so they rescued her. So they rescued her. Um, Lala... When uh, Lala goes to fish store every day. Even with a backpack. So cute. Backpack with penguin. Penguin is having penguin at the back. <laughs> the penguin has a penguin backpack. <laughs> All right. And uh, Lala can eat the fish for free. Lucky Lala. Lucky Lala. Right, Daisy, from the penguin, we are going to move to a robot two robots or three actually that i want to show you and who made these robots so the first robot its name is optimus optimus was made by tesla do you know tesla Te tesla is that 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 that, that Elon Musk? Yeah, Elon Musk is the owner. It's the electric That's vehicles. The, car. Some... the electric cars. Yeah. But Tesla also makes robots. Look at this robot. His name is Optimus. And Hello. Optimus was made by Tesla. That robot looks like the Netflix that I saw and that had um, a robot come and it looked like this. Was that a good robot or a bad robot? Good robot, but it was controlled by bad cell phone. That's interesting. So the bad cell phone is controlling the good robot. Uh -oh. Actually, the cell phone was very kind, but the owner, the person who made that, and like he, he or like uh, he, or uh, didn't like that phone anymore, and he threw and the, he threw that uh, cell phone and like uh, just like introduced this robot, and that um that cell phone was angry, and she um hacking, hack. Hack, yeah, yeah, hack the cell phone. And robots and like all robots uh, got uh, catch the pe people. Daisy, do you remember the name of this show on Netflix? Uh, 
Oh, Mitchell family vs the robots. Oh, that's okay. Because I saw something a little bit similar. It was. I I am robot, but that was a movie. It was not from Netflix. Have you seen the movie I Am Robot? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Daisy, this is Optimus. Who made Optimus? Tesla now, made Optimus. As you can see, Optimus looks like a person. Looks like a human. It has a body. It has arms, hands, fingers. Let's see how does Optimus move. What do you think? Can he walk down the stair? Walk down the stairs? I'm not sure. Okay. Let, let's see. First, when you switch on the robot, it is looking around the room. It is scanning the room. Can you say for me, the robot is scanning the room? Uh, the robot is scanning the room. Why? Why does it need to scan the room? Uh, because it needs to know where he could move. Exactly. It needs to know where it is, where it can move, what obstacles are in the way, where is the chair, where is the people. So it's scanning the room. Now, let's have a look how it moves here. Daisy, what is the robot doing? Uh, it is walking. It, it is not walking like this and it is a little bit deep. So Daisy, <laughs> the fact that this robot can walk on two legs, that is really, really impressive because it has balance. Mm -hmm. Daisy, when you, when you were a baby, could you walk? <laughs> yeah. No, I can crawl. Crawl. Crawling is easier than walking. Why? Oh, uh, because we don't need balance. We d exactly, we don't need balance. We are balancing on four arm, well, two arms and two legs. Yes. But when we stand up, we need balance. So this is impressive. The robot has balance. <coughs> Next. What will the robot do? He's, it is doing squat. Squat. Daisy, question. Uh, at, uh, before the robot, uh, and when it walked, it was a Tesla car behind it. Yeah. Wow, Daisy, I'm so glad you saw that. Yeah, those are the Tesla cars behind. I never saw like that the line. So that is the new design. That Tesla is the new design. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of this one. Tesla number two. Let's see. Tesla silver new car. The name is... Where is it? Uh -huh. Model, model, why? Daisy, which, huh? do you know which, which models do you know from the Tesla? Which models have you seen? Say again? Nothing. Oh, okay. Daisy, this silver. Tesla new car. Supercharged new car. Okay, Daisy, I cannot find the name of that car. When I, when I find it, I will tell you. So. When the robot is doing squats, Daisy. Yes. Yeah. It is moving up and down. Yes. Did you do squat exercises? Yes. And in a jump rope academy and how did you do your squat exercises because this robot is going up and down up and down maybe did you hold the squat or like hands or like this 
and goes down and like stay for three hours, uh, I three second and <laughs> three hours, Daisy, you are a machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stay three seconds and then uh, uh, go back up. Uh, yes. Okay, so like this. Stay like this three seconds and then again. Yes. Very good. Yeah, that's a difficult exercise. I like to do squats. Good for your leg muscles. Next, let's see what is the robot doing. Squat. What did the robot do there? Mm, it is putting the egg on the frying pan. Yeah, it put the egg somewhere, so it moved the egg. Can you say for me, the robot moved the egg? The robot moved the egg. All right, Daisy. How? Yeah? Uh, how does robot can like, hold the egg? Like, it is not slippery. Well, look at the fingers here, Daisy. Can you see that black part on the finger? Yes. That black part is a little bit of rubber. It's not pl uh -huh. it's not the plastic, it's rubber so that it has so that it can grip. So that it's not slippery. Okay. But Daisy, we said the robot walking is amazing because it has balance. It's something easy but difficult for a robot to do. So what about this? Why is this amazing as well? It's easy for us to pick up and move the egg. But why is it something difficult for a robot to do? Um, Think about the egg. Egg. So the egg is... The egg is easy to break. So the rope, like, uh, uh not many string, or like to this Exactly, and we don't want that to happen. So, this robot must be strong enough to hold the egg, but gentle enough not to break the egg. Can you say for me, the robot must be strong and gentle. Oh, uh, the robot must be strong and gentle. All right, Daisy. Finally, question, yes? Uh, can the robot, mm, like, or uh, is there any robot, like, for, like, cooking and, like, get one egg and, like, oh, uh, and, oh, um, this is fried egg. Well, Daisy, that's exactly where this is going. This is the future. I think when you are an adult, maybe after, after 10, after 20 years, we will see many of these robots around our house, maybe around outside doing different things. Maybe even like you said, cooking oh. or cleaning. Maybe they can clean the house or protect the house. All right. Finally, what is the robot doing? Dancing. Okay, so this is the one robot, Daisy. The second robot, it was not made by Tesla. It was made by Boston. Bugatti. Say again. <laughs> I thought one more car brand. <laughs> no, no, it's not a car brand. This one is called Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics. And their new robot, his name is Atlas. Atlas. Okay, so Atlas was made by Boston Dynamics. Now, Daisy, I want you to watch this video and look for what is different between Optimus and Atlas. What is it different? has round head. Okay, that's the first difference. Good. Yes, it has a round head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daisy, let's watch here. It can lay down. Say again? It can lay down. It, but maybe Optimus can also lay down. 
If we power off and <laughs> if we power off, let's see Atlas. <clears throat> oh, ah, little bit scary. Okay, so Daisy, what did the robot do? It stand with little bit gross, um, gross, um, a gross way. Yes. <laughs> Daisy, you said it's gross. I think it's actually quite amazing how it stand up. It's very different, very unique. So the stand up. This. Daisy. Why was it able to do that? Why was it able to stand up in such a scary way? Because of, <laughs> it, because of its joints. <laughs> they can turn more than 360 degrees. Not like us. Daisy, you and me, our arms, we, we can only go so much. Right? Yeah. Legs as well elbow as well hand as well but this robot atlas he can stand up like that because he can turn more so that is a big difference between boston dynamics and tesla can you explain to me what is the difference um the boston dynamics Let's say, let's say, I want to make it easier for you. Let's say, Tesla's robot is more like a human. Tesla's robot is more like human, but Boston Dynamic robot, it, a robot's a joints are moving uh, more than our um, more than human hmm. and it looks more like a robot still looks yes. like a human but it can move like a robot okay daisy now do you think in the future there will be robots like this i think it will be more better better how so mm, more look like um, that human okay so you think they will look more like human and why why do we want why will there be human looking robots in the future because technology will be more better so daisy will you buy one will you buy a human looking robot no why not like usually when like a robot is looking at me down like this and <laughs> you can switch off switch off the robot and then the robot close its eyes what did you like this more scary daisy let me show you the third robot this robot is also from boston dynamics but it doesn't look like a human it looks like Shark. A shark. You are almost correct. It it is an animal, but not a shark. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> it's dog. What do, what animal do you have in your house? Dog. It looks like a dog. <laughs> okay, so this. What is ah? Uh, this robot's name is Sparkles. Sparkles. Meet Sparkles. Now, Daisy. Yeah, yeah question? One is what? Snake? Uh, one more time. Qu what's the question? Uh, uh, beside the Sparkles, that yellow one is Snake. Well, let me play the video and I want to ask you. What do you notice about these two robots it is robot <laughs> so uh, um, actually both of them are the same uh, uh, but uh, the left uh, one is wearing a costume uh, do you notice they are both the same yes yeah. 
What is different? Ah. What is different about ah. the left one? A uh, left one had oh. <laughs> left one wore a dog, dog costume. The left one is wearing a costume. Now uh, I want to uh, ask you. Uh, I, I like want that. Yeah. One more time. I think uh, this robot is smarter than my dog. It can't dance like that. <laughs> Daisy, I actually wanted to ask you what is better to have a real animal or to have a robot pet? Animal, real animal. I think so too. Why? Why is the real one better than the robot? It has feelings. It has feelings. Yes. What about the mess that it makes? Does your <laughs> dog make a mess? Um, yes, it pees uh, out of the, the, uh, the pet. So, what if you, did you take, how often do you take your dog for a walk? Not often, my mom takes. Ah, okay. When I go so, how often, how often does, does your dog go out? Maybe with your mom, maybe with you, maybe with your dad? Almost like uh, every day, but uh, like my when my mom needs to go to other uh, somewhere and needs to go like exercise and uh, he need to um, uh, he need to uh, uh, protect our house. <laughs> Daisy, when you take the dog for a walk, do you always walk the same route or do you go different places always? I need to go to the same route and because if I go to other route and like it could be dangerous for me and my dog and my dog need to my dog is every time walking that route so he is uh he every time finds his, his new spot and, um, and cool. I think it will take t time to be able to like uh, know the that map of the uh, the new route, so I go to say I go to same route. So how long is this route? How many minutes do you walk? Or if I walk, it doesn't took it took like two minutes, and my dog needs to like look for the uh, like tree and like. Eat some grass and. <laughs> mm. So, do you think if if your dog was alone, do you think the dog will be able to find its way? Because it's always the same route. Maybe it can find its way. Oh, but when ah uh, uh, yes, we uh, our family sometimes go to a uh, uh, new route and. Um and oh, like my mom, my mom said, uh, hold, hold my, hold the dog, and my mom uh ran to the soccer that, it was like soccer field and there's uh, not many people so she was she ran to there and my mom shouted at me, uh um, uh leave your dog to go and my mom called uh my dog's name and it. I thought, uh, uh, my mom thought it will be behind her, but it was uh, in front of her and she was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Very cute. <laughs> Daisy, it was lovely to see you and, and talk to you. Um, have a nice weekend. And yeah, Daisy, I will see you again. When? Next. Week. See you next week, Daisy. See you next week. Bye.